you arrive at the airport and marvel at the sea of vehicles and parking lots. Isn't it amazing? If you map the starting point for each vehicle, what would be the resulting geographic pattern? Is there any relationship between the distance traveled and the amount of time that the vehicle is parked at the airport? How did people make the decision to drive instead of using a shuttle or public transportation? As you check in with your airline's ticket kiosk and agent, you marvel at the hundreds of tasks and processes ranging in scale from the geocoding of your itinerary number to your destination to the handling and routing of your baggage, to the delivery of fuel and aircraft to the correct locations, to the handling and routing of all kinds of things, food, etc., that needs to occur at the right place and the right time in order for your flight to take place with the correct pilots, crew, passengers, and baggage. You consider that GIS has been built to handle all of these things. If you could download your airplane's GPS track over the past week, what pattern would it show just for that one aircraft that you're on? What about the crew that was on that airplane? What was their path over the last week? After you proceed through security, you walk through the concourse, navigating from the visual clues to your correct gate. Who made the decisions about the directional signage at the airport? Were any geographers consulted? How useful are these navigational clues here versus other airports? How international are these, are these clues? We've all been to places where we really had no idea where to turn and what to do. You pass a cafe. Like most eateries at an airport, this cafe is part of a national chain. As you stop to look at the menu, you notice that it lists cha the chain's other locations. As you spot these locations on your mental map, you hypothesize about the location of the chain's headquarters based on the spatial pattern of the franchises. Continuing on, you walk by different shops, thinking about the decisions made at the shop's corporate headquarters in terms of what items to stock in different areas of the country. Where is the geographic dividing line, for example, between where sweet tea is served versus plain tea? What line divides where earmuffs are sold from where swimsuits are sold? How do these lines vary depending on the season? Chances are many of these decisions are made with the help of geographic information systems and spatial thinking.